we have already seen what is a BPM. Now let's look into how you can implement that BPM or BPMS. What is BPMS? Business Process Management System. How, how do you implement that in your organization? Let's look into that. Uh, you need to also understand that uh, BPM will incorporate all these business analysis, automation, optimization, uh, even uh, business strategy, all this into your organization to make your implementation project, BPM implementation project, a successful. You need to follow what we call a BPM pyramid. BPM pyramid, right? So how does pyramid look like? Exactly. So we will incorporate BPM pyramid. Right? So we will divide the pyramid into five. Why? Because there are five steps you need to take to implement BPM successfully. Right? The first one. First one is you need to understand the let's say scope. You need to understand the scope. What is scope? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's like a boundary for you. Scope will tell you what's covered within your uh, control or within your area or what you need to work into. We can call it what is within scope or what is out of scope. So once we need to understand about uh, BPM scope, what do you mean by that? We need to understand what are the processes which is going to be covered in our BPM project. Or also, which also include which division within the organization, which department within the organization. Is it covering everything or a particular department? What are you going to cover that? So that is what is scope. So when you try to understand the scope, you also need to see that what are the metrics to monitor or what are the metrics to understand whether your process is performing in an optimal way or effective way or not. So you need to collect or understand all the processes, their metrics, who is responsible for that, which department, division, right? All this thing you need to collect. So once you know what it is, then only you can move to the next step. And what is the next step? Come on. When you know what you have to work on, the next step is exactly. Planning. The next step is planning. Once you know what is covered, you can move on to planning and planning will, should result in a, in a schedule of uh, what, what process you agreed to work on along with the stakeholders. In planning, we can also look into all the process which, is, uh, uh, which you already have a solution. We can call it like uh, you monitor it through a legacy application like Oracle, SAP, or Dynamics, whatever application you already have, or you have developed your own application. So, whatever is there, how each process is performed or monitored in those applications. Does it cover everything? All right. Some key areas do we need to add? That also you can look into it. Okay, so once we made a plan for that, what is the next step? We need to do the process designing. Exactly. We need to do the process design. So 
we need to do the process design. So what is process design? This covers all the process you want to monitor using BPMS. It can include all this legacy application or it can also include new application which you want to develop for this one. A new process you want to add up or a process which you want to optimize or improve. In these area you can use uh, tools like Six Sigma. And then once you know that uh, all the new process, existing process, all that you understood, you have the process design. This is the place where you make, make a process mapping. A place where you make process mapping. Because that will clearly depict how the process is going to work. Right? And then once you have all this done, next thing is obviously. Next thing is, right, we need to develop the system. We call it development. So we need to develop the solution for it. Because we are in a BPM project, this development means we develop a business process management system to monitor all the process which is designed in the business process design or the process which is already there already been captured using any application any solution or software so all this BPMS will be developed here along with the engagement of key stakeholders or process owners right so who are the process owners we already learned that anybody Stakeholder is anybody who is affected by the change and process owner is the person who is owner of that particular process who is responsible for that or accountable for that. That is a person, right? Okay, so once we have developed the solution, what is the whole idea of the BPM system? What is the whole idea of that system? Is to, is to, yeah, exactly, we need to do that. The whole idea of BPMS is to do the analysis. Do the analysis. Because if you don't do analysis, what is the point of developing the system? BPM is implemented in organization to keep optimizing. When you want to optimize your process, you need to know that how it is performing today. So unless you know how it is performing today, how can you optimize? So what is the saying? The saying says, if you cannot measure, you cannot improve. So the process which you cannot measure, you cannot improve. So this is what we're going to cover in this whole module, right? So let's uh, start from the beginning. Scope will tell you what is going to be covered in your BPM project. Planning will tell you how you get to plan to do different activities for the BPM project, including process design, development, and analysis. Process design will tell you what are the processes we included, including which is already available, and something which is new one all is developing design here and once you have new and existing process design you can get into the development of the business process management system right so what is it all yeah exactly this is a system to monitor your existing process don't assume that this is a, 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 a software to you know record something like software to record your daily transaction no the transaction is already recorded in the solution right BPM's job is to get all this information periodically and look into whether they are performing as per the design parameters 
or as per the required level of effectiveness. If it's going down, it should be able to show you some kind of uh, alert or signal that please look into it. This is a bottleneck for your whole process chain. This is a bottleneck. You need to work on this process. That's what the, the whole idea of VPM is. And then, how do you get to know about all those things? By doing the analysis on a design time. Like you can design like you can say every week we want to capture some data to see how it is performing or every week or every day or every 10th part, 100th part, you can design it. So when there is a very low performance, you monitor it more frequently. When the performance is quite good, you capture the data or monitor it less frequently. That's what it is. So where the data is captured, that is different software. That's called we call it, we may call it like legacy software or any application which you have developed for that monetary purpose. And this is for management of those processes. Right. Right? Getting it? Right. That's that's what a lot of people get confused about. What is BPMS or what what is other software? True. So we will look into one by one, right from the beginning in more little more details, right? In this model. Okay, shall I wrap this one?